Today, I will show a sketch function that I bet have not been shown on YouTube. Curious? Let's go. Hi everyone, and thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Today, I gotta thank Gert for sending me an email request in regards to how can you take multiple sketches, get them all on one level, and save them out as a DXF. And in that, I found a sketch function that I bet have not been shown on YouTube. I let you prove me wrong in the comments beneath. All right, let's go into Fusion. So what are we looking at here? We got all different kinds of sketches. There is a few of them here, about five different sketches, all different kind of layers as we can see here. Now, how do we bring all these into one? Well, the easiest thing is to just create a new sketch. Come that up on the front face here. And then if we hit the P for project, we can just go in and uh, select all the different entities we want to project to this new sketch. So you can kind of pick which one you want and which one you don't want. So in this case here, we're gonna take them all. So select these lines here, whatever your entities are, like this. Hit OK, so now this sketch number 10 is really just a projection of all the other ones. See, if I turn all the light bulbs off, you will see they're still all here. Here's the trigger to get them to a DXF. Right click on that sketch that is all the projected ones, and you can save as a DXF, and that will now save it out as its own DXX file. Wonder still about that one thing that has never been shown on YouTube before? How about I show you two? So back into uh, our sketch here, let's just go one step backwards and get rid of our project there. We gotta actually go back to uh, our project command. If I open a new sketch, I'm repeating what I did before, and I hit P, have you ever seen anybody show what projection link means? Hmm, I will show you what it means. So with this check, that means that if we go in and we take this rectangle and we project it, it's checked right now and hit OK, means that the projected edge is following whatever this first one is. I actually think it's this. <laughs> I couldn't remember. So if we go and find that sketch that has that original one there, if we right click and we hit edit sketch. Now we're back in the original one and we drag this one out like this, and we stop the sketch, you will see that our projected sketch, sketch number 11 here, it has followed that out. Here is where it gets interesting with that little checkbox. What you can actually do is, let's open a new sketch, that's the same plane. Let's go and select this one up here, P for project, uncheck projected length. Get this. Hit OK here. And now, if we go back to that original sketch, will be this one here. Edit that. And let's take this corner and just bring it out like this. Hit Stop Sketch. Notice what happened here. Check out the last sketch. The last sketch stayed at the original level. This is actually kind of handy in a sense that you can decide when you're projecting some geometry P for project. You can actually choose if you want to follow the area you're selecting or not. Ha, huh, that is interesting. The second thing that I don't think I've been shown on YouTube, or at least not this t explanation, is when it comes to performance with sketches. See, if you have a lot of sketches inside of Fusion, you can actually start seeing a little bit of a performance hit. Now you need to have a lot more than I do here. But when you're trying to rotate or something like that, you might see that it slows down. This could be caused because of this profiling that is happening inside each closed loop. You see kind of like how there's a different color inside of here versus on the outside. And that's because Fusion not only sees the sketch as a closed loop, but it's actually also kind of doing the calculation that it can extrude this into a solid. You can turn this on and off. So if you go ahead and you open up a new sketch, click on a sketch face here, 
and you will see over here that you can show profile or not show profile. It's by default is turned on, but if I turn it off and I draw up an enclosed rectangle, you will see I don't get that shading in here. But if I go back and I tweak it, you will see that now we get the shading um, or the profile happening in there. And turn that on and off. But not only does it show you that it's a closed loop with the profile, it's actually also doing calculations to make sure that it has something can extrude. So again, if you do have a lot of sketches inside of Fusion, you do see that it kind of starts slowing down a little bit. Turning on show profile on uh, your sketch palette for your sketches can actually help your performance. I don't know what you think about this. Gert, I hope you found your answer. And for everybody else, maybe you just uh, got a couple of new tools in your toolkit when it comes to Fusion. That is what this is about. It's just trying to add a little bit more value to your Fusion experience. If you like this, thumbs up. If you don't, hey, be honest, thumbs down, it's okay. <laughs> and as always, I love your comments down in the comment area. My email is in the description area if you have any future topics. Until the next time, I hope you have an awesome, awesome day. Take care, folks.